What's up guys? CC here and uh, yeah today's a pretty massive day actually. I've just arrived here at the wedding venue uh, for my Chinese wedding that's happening in uh, next week in like a few days actually. <laughs> but most importantly my family, my parents are coming to China. They've just arrived in Hong Kong yesterday. They're on a train right now from Hong Kong into Kunming to obviously attend this wedding. And yeah, kind of weirdly nervous because they've never been to China before and it's, it's a lot for them to, uh, I guess, understand. But I'm very excited to see them again after not seeing them for about a month of uh, being living here in China so far. So yeah, I thought I'd take you on this uh, little adventure to enjoy with me the, uh, the experience of taking your family uh, to China for the first time, not being able to speak a lick of Chinese. Let's have some fun. And it has been an insane last uh, like week. As you saw from that little clip, I have uh, had my parents come over here to China. They're here for my wedding, which is in a few days time. For those of you who don't know, I'm getting married for the third time to the same person, this time with their side of the family in China. The reason we didn't get married the first time altogether, the whole family is because of COVID, unfortunately. But anyway, I thought I'd take you for a little scoot around the suburbs here and uh, hopefully not get too much wind noise. So I guess today's video can be called, My Parents Arrived in Kunming. which kind of sucks because I really like it. Uh, riding the scooter without a helmet, it's, uh, it's definitely a vibe. 
Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, the last uh, week or so has been pretty hectic with my family arriving in Kunming. And uh, yeah, to be honest for them, it's a, a huge, huge stretch to come to, to China at all. Where I live is directly behind me because I've been going around the block here for like the last, I don't know, 20 minutes, just boosting it around on the scooter. It's having a bit of fun and uh, yeah, trying to find a less windy place, but uh, I mean, it's it's Kunming, and it seems to be always windy here. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's summer, and I'm I'm able to wear a beanie, which is um, kind of awesome. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to uh, to highlight that uh, yeah, my parents are, are here, and it's kind of fun. And I, I had some little clips of us traveling around and stuff that I thought, you know, I'll, I'll chuck all this into a video, and that'll be fun, and yeah, you know, just something different on the on the internet. I haven't really seen much in the way of videos of like foreigners living in China and their parents come to visit them type of content. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd make this for that purpose. Okay, I think I might have actually found the perfect place to make videos. The uh, Kunming Museum is like literally right behind me. And there's like this little street thing just between the canal and the museum, but like hardly anyone comes down here which makes me feel good uh, because I'm, I'm not like constantly looking around at, at people looking at me making videos not that anyone really cares it's just like you know if you make videos in the in the open you're just talking to yourself on the phone it feels pretty weird anyway yeah so it's uh it's pretty early it's like 9 30 in the morning I think my parents are still asleep or probably just waking up last few days we've done a lot of walking we've been kidding out my mum in a chipao which um, for, for people who don't know is a like traditional Chinese dress. My mum and my dad will be wearing traditional clothing. I will also be wearing very traditional uh, Chinese wedding gowns, as well as Ange, of course, who's gonna be fully kitted out in multiple Chinese style traditional dresses for the wedding. Just as I say, like no one is here. There's a couple of like old uncles walking up to me. So I'll keep it recording, see what happens. Absolutely nothing happened. Yeah, all of uh, the Chinese side of the family as well will be mostly kitted out in chi piles. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool actually to see like a whole group of people wearing traditional Chinese clothing at a very traditionally styled Chinese wedding. I've been reading through all the comments and trying to reply to as many as possible. It's been great to see such an explosion of uh, people watching this video or these videos that I'm making. I never expected uh, for anyone to actually care or you know want to watch this, but I mean this this channel is actually going a lot crazier than my other channel, which has a substantially larger viewer base. So uh, yeah, th this is uh, it's really cool to see that people are interested in this easygoing China content. Just uh, just here for the good vibes and the, the nice weather, the good food basically. So if that's what you're all about, then this is absolutely the right channel just for you. But yeah, as I was saying, thanks to uh, to everyone who's been commenting. It's been great to see so many comments from so many different people of different backgrounds and uh, lifestyles and, you know, where they're living and or where they're from and lots of great feedback about Kunming, the city, which is great because, I mean, I love it here. It's really nice. It's mostly good weather. I mean, today's a little bit overcast as you can see, but it's, I mean, it's pretty good. It's currently like 20 something degrees, 20 or 22, I think. It's gonna get to about 28 today, but that won't happen until like 2 p.m. And another crazy thing I just thought of is that the sun sets at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. guys, what is that? Where I'm from in Australia, in summer, I mean, the sun sets at like 6 p.m. maximum. So 8 p.m. is a massive stretch. Anyway, I might uh, leave this video on a note of me just absolutely boosting it as fast as I can go on this uh, this scooter, which just turned off. It says it gets to 25 kilometers an hour, but then if you turn off this thing called e-save mode, it then goes to like supersonic speed, but the speed just doesn't change. It just says 25 kilometers an hour. So I don't know if that's to get like around some law thing about the speed of scooters or so I, I assume it is, I don't know. But yeah, let's, uh, let's boost it on the scooter.
Watch me as I overtake every car here. <laughs> I love this scooter so much.